How many are still eating meat? Pretty much everyone? No. No way. A lot of people are still. There are law of compensation issues associated with eating meat. That all of you will be going through right now until you get into this place. And as soon as you get into this place, do you think you're going to be eating another bit of meat? No. I go past a paddock and see a cow in it. There's a place in Alveston that's near a, a um, pet food factory. Oh, yeah. oh, now, yeah. until somebody told me that those animals on the front were what they used, I, I go past that place, I'll either go south road or I'm going like this because if I look and see sheep or a horse or something like that, I get so overcome with grief, I think, I can't, I can't bear this. Mm. Just such great sadness. Mm. I've got to go past a paddy. I can't follow a, a truck that goes to the abattoirs. Yeah. You know, so there's all, still some more emotion yes, there. Yes, there is. Through, a lot so. with animals. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same with, um, like, because you're vegan? Yeah. So is that the same, like... Every, every time you abuse an animal for your own advantage... It's all about good years. Sorry? <laughs> every time, let, let me finish the statement. Yeah. Every time you abuse an animal for your own advantage, you are breaking a law of love. So, if you are purposefully keeping a chook and, and its purpose is just to give you eggs, and when that no longer gives you eggs, what do you do with it? Then you are actually breaking the law. Mm. So you can reason with yourself that all I'm having is the egg in the end. <laughs> but if you're actually mm. doing that, you're breaking a law of love. Now, remember what I said with all of these things. What did I say earlier? I said, you don't need to change any of your behaviour. Intellectually, what you need to do is what? Look at the emotion inside of you. Now, many people eat meat because there's an emotion inside of them where they're not full eating anything else. Deal with that emotion. Many people eat meat because they haven't yet gone through the moral issues of what it... Like, how many of you are willing to kill a cow yourself? Can you... If you are willing to... That's being honest. It's good to be honest. You're actually in a better position than the people who are not willing to kill a cow themselves. Do you know why? From an emotional point of view, do you know why? Because the rest of you are in denial and you are actually forcing another person to kill for you. You are actually harming them as well as yourself. What about if you've been told by a medical practitioner that you need meat because you're fading away? Yeah, I know what you're told. And uh, you know, God. I'm not fading away. I'm not fading away. So if I'm fading away not eating meat, there's an emotion that's causing me to do that. You follow me? Now, all of these things are quite confronting, right? Yeah? And the, per the one person who is here who said that he'd be willing to kill his own cow is actually the person who is in more of a closer condition, if you like, to God than the person, all of the persons here who were saying that they were asking someone else to do it for them. Go and buy a butcher shop. Exactly. Yeah. Right? That is actually even a more damaging thing. You see, and, and it's not until we feel these feelings about these things that we will change. Right? And I used to eat five meals of meat a day. To be guilt there. So I had to work my way through these issues. Yeah. And, and it's not the same it. with plants? You can eat plants? Well, let's look at the plants. How many plants continue growing even if you eat them? Most of them, don't they? Mm. You look at, say, a, a fruit, for example. Yeah. A fruit needs you to eat the fruit mm. before the seed becomes activated, right? Mm. So in actual in fact, there are lots of plants that have been made purposely for our consumption or for our healing. Mm. But that's not the case with animals. You kill the animal, can it reproduce? Instantly, no. How about the plants that happen, say carrots? You know, the old jug. You, have you ever had a carrot squirt? You, know, you can have a carrot after it seeds, or you can have one or two carrot seed, and you can have the rest. Do you know what I mean? So that all of them have this multiplication effect going on constantly. Yeah. And as long as you leave something to reproduce, 
Mm. It's all right. And that makes sense, yeah. doesn't it? Mm. Uh, they're all there for mm. reproduction mm. to to continue. Like God made abundance in those in those things.